Prime Minister Internship Scheme for all the students. Yes, today we are going to see how this PM Internship Scheme will be useful for the students who are looking to enhance their skill. You can see here that these are the companies who are willing to provide internship for the students. So watch till the end where you will understand what are the eligibility criteria for the student who should attend this program, this internship program, what are the various benefits the students will be getting it. So let's start with the eligibility. So the student must be 21 to 24 years and he or she should not be employed in a full time and the family of the particular students should not be earning more than 8 lakhs per annum and no member of the family should be working in a government job and you should not be enrolled in a full-time education why because here you will be doing the internship for 12 months and it will be six months of complete hands-on training and six months of learning so this is mandatory and what PM internship offers you back so it's a 12 month real life experience in, in, in India's top company. What are the top company? You can check it out here. So these are the top companies starting from Infosys, your Tata Consultancy Services, your Finolex, because it covers various domains. So with irrespective of all your domain, like even if you may be a BCom student, you may be a, you might be a com computer science student or English, whatever it may be. So they will fit in on any of these industry who wanted to provide this internship. Okay. So the first thing is what 12 month real time experience in India's top company. The second one is monthly assistance of 4,500 by government of India. You will be getting a monthly salary and you will be getting a one time grant of 6,000 rupees for incidentals and Government will be providing you insurance coverage for every intern under Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana by Government of India. So, if you are eligible in any of these things, like if you are eligible, then please proceed. I will be telling you what are the various opportunities and various sectors you may be getting your internship based on your uh, domain. So, here you can see that this is a pharmaceutical internship. If you are from pharmacy or something, you will be getting for the pharma pharmaceutical internship. And if you are for sports, if, you are do if your uh, domain is from the sports, you will be getting this. And if you are doing any textile manufacturing, if anything, like these are the various industries where they provide internship for you. And if you just click here, it will tell you more about what are the various industry they provide, like agriculture, automotive, aviation and defense, banking, financial, cement and building materials, chemical industry. So they have a lot of industries where you may get any of this internship from those industry according to their expectations now now let me just show you like what are the uh, various things like what are the um, what are the key uh, guidelines and responsibilities where uh, guidelines you should be uh, aware of okay so the first one is these are the things that the eligibility what is the scope and eligibility criteria who are all not eligible so the graduates if you are a graduate from iit or iim or national law university iiscr nids or anything then you are not eligible so those have a qualification such as your CA or uh, CA, MBBS, BDS, MBA or any other masters or higher degree you are not eligible and those who are undergoing any skill apprenticeship or internship in any of the government or a government program or state government program you are not eligible and if your income of the family members is greater than 8 lakhs or any of your member are working in a government as a government employee then these things are not eligible so this is what the basic criteria of the eligible and ineligible candidates so if you are eligible and if you are ready to uh, register for this particular internship then what you have to do is what you have to you can just go ahead and click on this youth registration so what happens uh, if you are a different if you are from a different language so you can just choose any of this language and click this youth registration so once if you click this youth registration you know what happens it will ask you to enter your phone number so once you enter your phone number you will be getting an otp so otp you have to uh, so give your proper phone number don't use your uh, 
your friend's phone number or your parents phone number use your phone number so give the otp and then submit it and once you have submitted then go ahead with giving your email like a password create generate a password with a combination of uh, one new numbers one a character one special character and at least it should be eight character length so once you submitted it will take you to the next page where you have to enter your other you can you have to upload your details about the other and once you have uploaded the details about the other then you have to do all the next step like you have to enter your personal details like what is your category whether you, what is your gender your father name your date of birth your um, uh, your address your email id so all these basic information and then you have to give all these things other things like um personal details you know contact details educational details bank details skills and languages and profile why you should give the bank details because they will be providing you a monthly um, monthly payment right so for that you have to give the bank details and once this is done you know like once you are done with this bank details and everything then uh, you can set up your profile so once you are set up your profile is set up then you can apply for the internship that is the next step so if you want to find the detailed video level of explanation you can find it from here the video explanation and you also have the manual like how to create a candidate application and how to create a registration and profile creations and everything so you can just do you can just get it from here and you can see the partner companies which will be downloaded as a separate um, a pdf okay and you if you want to see the guidelines you can also find it from here so all the details are available and if you are not subscribing to my channel so please go ahead and subscribe because you will be getting a lot of information like what are the internship opportunities job opportunities what are the various uh, free courses which you should do if you are planning to um uh, like enter into any of the jobs or something so everything i'll be just giving you okay so just to go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe and this is all about this prime pm internship scheme so if you are eligible for this i recommend you to just go ahead and apply because this is not just a classroom project you will work in a real companies and you will gain a skill and improve the employability as well and you know that this will bridge a gap between academic learning and industry needs it's not just an internship it's a stepping stone to your future career as well so you, it will be like a one year program and what exactly this pm internship why they have uh, when they when they announced it is what they announced in the union budget 2024 2025 which aims to improve and provide the internship to 1 crore youth over 5 years so in the pilot phase it's like 1.25 lakh internships are targeted and the internship duration is 12 months giving interns practical exposure in a real life work environment so don't wait because the internship the last day to apply for the first level of uh, thing is what april 15 okay so here you can see the last day to apply is april 15 so please even if it is not relevant to you please share it with your friends who will be benefited from this particular video and if you really like this video so this is actually a golden opportunity to learn grow and prepare yourself for the real world job market if you are eligible don't miss it and if you are not eligible please pass this with your friends or your family or the colleagues uh, those who for whom this may be may be relevant and useful so if you really like this video please give a thumbs up share it with your friends who might be eligible and subscribe for the updates on internship government schemes and skill development and opportunities and more so watch my video so that in the playlist you have a skill up playlist where in the skill up playlist i will be uploading about the internship opportunities job opportunities various free courses which the students should do and various other informations as well thank you take care bye bye have a great day